Welcome back to Garden Ninja. Today I've been asked to do a video guide on how to get rid of stubborn weeds. And you'll be pleased to know that it doesn't involve breaking your back, using a trowel, using weed killer or any of the other methods that you see online. In fact my methods are going to be quite different and all you're going to need is two key pieces of equipment to get rid of your weeds at lightning speed. Before we do anything we have to put Barry away because it's really not the place for little puppies is it? No it's not. So I'm going to put him away and then show you exactly how to get rid of your weeds. So I'm going to be showing you two methods today in this quick guide. The first one involves the use of a trusty bin liner, cheap and cheerful, with some temp bags. And the second and more fun method uses this, a weed burner. So the first method I'm going to show you is the bin liner and temp peg method. It couldn't be simpler. And this is a really good method if you're trying to kill off a load of weeds, especially in preparation for a new flower bed or a new working garden where you want to grow fruit and veg. So if you've got an area like this that's covered in all sorts of weeds, rather than reaching for the Roundup, the chemicals, the vinegar, and having to manually put that on and then wait for it to die back, all you do is take your bin liner and your temp pegs and you're going to pin it over the top of the weed. And what that will do is reduce light from helping the weeds to photosynthesise. It will also reduce moisture and nutrients and will slowly but surely die back. So it's a really good environmentally sound method of killing weeds en masse. However, it does take quite a while, anywhere between a month to six months, to fully remove those weeds. But if you're a patient soul, which I'm not, it's a great method. But if you're not patient like me, then the weed burner is a fantastic method both to get out some catharsis and kill those weeds. Now I've tried all those homemade remedies for getting rid of weeds. Vinegar, table salt, washing up liquid, a combination of the three. And whilst they do work, the results are quite unpredictable. And also, who can be bothered faffing around, sloshing vinegar all over your garden, when all you want to do is sit out and enjoy it? So the best method that i found is one of these weed burners. Now they run on butane gas, but the great thing about them is they kill weeds almost instantaneously and they've got no build-up and no knock-on effect on the local environment. So with a weed killer, over time your plants can get resistant, but with this bad boy, there is zero resistance, and it's great fun. So what you need to do is you buy a weed burner, and then you attach your gas canister to it, this one screws in, and there'll be a valve for on-off to regulate the amount of gas, and then a clicker that ignites it. Now it goes without saying, wear protective footwear, goggles, gloves, Make sure there's no small puppies running around, friends, family, children, animals, and then you're good to go. And it can be used on paths, beds, borders, pretty much anywhere. And it only targets the weed that you are <coughs> taking your fury out on. So let's give this a whirl now as so we turn this on. Start it up, there we go. And then just over the top, just until it starts to go a black colour. There we go. Same with this one. A couple of seconds. Unknown variety. We've got a bit of a blue. There we go. Same with this one. Just turn back. There we go. And that's enough to be able to kill these weeds off. You still might need to do a few passes in a few weeks, but it's far more efficient than just the gun ho approach of I'm going to burn everything to this in there. So you just walk around slowly, doing that to your weeds, and then you'll see in a few days they'll start to just fall over and die back. So down here we've got the dreaded weed of all weeds, mare's tail, and this stuff is incredible. Incredible in that it's really difficult to kill off. It goes back hundreds of thousands of years as a species and is just super resilient. So although the weed burner will kill it, you will have to do it a few times. What you have to do with mare's tail is exhaust it. The tap roots go down so far, so you're basically just burning off that top layer time and time again until the plant basically gives up and dies. But the weed burner is still an excellent tool for this. So there we have it, a super speedy guide of how to kill weeds, which doesn't involve using any nasty chemicals, mixing things in your kitchen and spending hours selectively pouring them on bits and bobs around the garden. So by using a weed burner you can do it really quickly and there's no build up so you can keep using it and the weeds won't get resistant. So I've been Garden Ninja, this has been Little Barry the Border Terrier 
If you like this video, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more how-to hints and tips garden design guides. Thanks for watching, happy gardening. Come on, let's go.